Okay, welcome YouTube viewers. This is Murray Carter from cartercutlery.com, C-A-R-T-E-R-C-U-T-L-E-R-Y.com. Today we're going to give you a quick symposium on how to sharpen straight razors. I'm sure there are a lot of different techniques. This is the one Murray Carter uses, and I always shave with straight razors. In fact, gee, I even sharp, you know, I even shave with kitchen knives, so and axes scissors, what have you. But this is how I sharpen a straight razor, and I think it's pretty orthodox. You'll see uh, it's uh, probably very similar to what you're already doing. Okay, we have some uh, three stones set up here. We have my uh, rough 1,000 grit stone, which we're gonna need because we're gonna completely knock the edge off of this razor. We've got a, uh, a made in Germany, you know, uh, conventional straight razor with the uh, double hollow grind in it and uh, we're gonna knock that edge off completely and start from scratch. We'll need the 1,000 grit stone for that. We're gonna uh, progress to a 6,000 grit stone and uh, we're going to uh, finish with one of these beautiful natural uh, water stones that I just brought back from uh, Japan. It's uh, quarried in the uh, Kyoto Honyama region, the finest in the world. Just extraordinary uh, grit, upwards of 20, 30,000 grit, I think. Uh, no way to measure, really. So, uh, so we'll start with our 1,000 grit stone. I'm gonna use my 6,000 as a little base so I can get some height, so I can get off the ground. Here's my 1,000 grit stone. Now, you'll see, as is, uh, because I shave with this every now and then, this razor is in shaving condition. Now this is gonna make you guys cringe, but there goes the edge. Okay, won't, sh won't shave, won't cut. Whew, that's scary. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, completely dull. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind in a new edge now. And these razors typically, you know, they, you use the thick spine, the back of the spine as a guide for your primary edge. Now, since I'm just grinding, I am gonna go in a back and forward motion here. So, you don't want to overdo it. Grind a little bit on one side. Grind the other. Now, we know when to stop grinding by the results we get from the three finger test of edge sharpness. that will tell us that we've established a new primary edge on that razor. Make sure you get the very heel of the blade. That tends to be a trouble spot. Take a careful examination of what's happening along the edge. And then a three finger test. Okay, so my fingers here are telling me I have a new edge on the whole blade. That's good news, because that means we're 90% done. Now all I'm gonna do is carefully and deliberately strop this blade backwards three or four times on my 1000 grit stone. Okay, it looks good. Now what we'll do is we'll transition to our 6,000 grit stone. Get it nice and clean. And dropping backwards on our 6,000 grit stone. Okay, now that we've stropped it backwards on the 6,000 grit stone, we're going to strop now on newspaper. But before we do that, we have two things we need to do. Dry the top of your 6,000 grit stone off. Make sure it's nice and smooth. You can dry your razor off. I guess that's two. I guess there's gonna be three things we need to do. And then uh, thirdly, we are gonna need to uh, draw the edge of this razor through a piece of wood to knock off any burr. 
Now, use your common sense. You don't want to start, you know, drawing it through a piece of wood where you've been, you know, doing 100 kitchen knives before that, and where there might be other metal, metal particles and so on. You know, do it, uh, do it in uh, a preferably, you know, a fairly soft piece of wood, nice, clean. That's not contaminated by any kind of grit or dust or, or what have you. And obviously, you're going to be drawing it through with a lot less pressure too. So, uh, actually, we didn't need to dry our stone off com completely. Oopsie. Things are getting exciting. There we go. Because after we draw it through the wood, we'll come back, strop it two more times each side. Okay, now, now we dry off. Okay. And we're going to cover in newspaper. Here we go, stropping with newspaper. Make sure you know where the edge of your stone is so you don't come off the edge of the stone and trash your edge. Okay, let's see if we're... Okay, well, we're more or less where we need to be. Now, if you had the natural water stone, you'd use it instead of the newspaper, just by stropping backwards like this. Now, this is where, and this is the only place where, I deviate from my sharpening technique of every other blade. For, for any other kind of blade I sharpen, that's my system right there. And, you know, I'll even, you know, I'll use that to shave with. I got my some whiskers there, even dry. But if it's a little uncomfortable with your razor shaving your face, here's something that you can do to improve the, the comfort level of your shave at somewhat of a sacrifice of the edge that you just put on your blade. And this is what you can do. You can get, here's my belt here. It was a little long anyway. There we go. You can uh, get yourself some leather and uh, take your leather, take the smoother side of your leather and get a little bit of chromium oxide and uh, rub that on there lightly, not too much. Okay, there we go. That might be a little bit on the too much side. Now, you got to make sure that your leather strop is on a hard back surface. If you just strop in the air where the strop has the ability to, to, to flex and bend, you're going to round out your edge of that razor so much. You may or may not get a comfortable shave, but then when eventually you need to go back to the 1000 grit stone to grind a new primary edge in, it's going to take way longer. By preserving the edge of your razor in a nice flat V, Essentially, when you need to whip it back into sh shaving sharp again, all you'll need to do is start with your 6,000 grit stone. So judiciously, remember, this is just about comfort. The thing's already shaving sharp. Judiciously, strop your edge two or three times either side on a nice hard back surface. There, now you got an edge, you can you be able to see Oh yeah, can't even feel that. Let's see, I'll go try dry, right under my nose, just where no one likes to shave. Yep, got it all off. So, you know, that was a lot more comfortable than it would have been straight off the newspaper. So that's how you can get a folding razor, or even a straight razor, you know, the, the non-folding variety, literally shaving sharp with even an extended level of comfort. Now remember, the leather strop, use only judiciously. 1,000 grit, 6,000 grit newspaper leather or 1,000 grit, 6,000 grit natural stone leather. So that's Murray Carter keeping you guys shaving sharp from cartercutlery.com.